Good morning, my name is Denise. Welcome to Suncoast Crafting. Today we are starting an adventure with our diamond painting. Usually we order, unbox, and use a pre-made kit, but what if we want to do our own designs? Where can we get the designs? What supplies will we need to do the projects? What kinds of projects can we do? And how much is this going to cost? Today we're going to talk about the supplies and the patterns. In the future videos, we will do the projects. In this video, we will talk about where can we get our own designs, what kinds of supplies are available from Diamond Dots, what do we need to get started, can we put diamonds on other surfaces, where can we get the diamonds. In future videos, I will do freestyle projects in each of the ways discussed today. I will also show finished projects and we will discuss the cost of each project. I am reviewing Diamond Dots branded products for these projects. I have included a variety of links for the products in the show notes, and I've selected these options because I use them myself. I am not sponsored by any of these companies. The prices that you see are as the beginning of January 2022. Whenever you choose to shop, as always, look for coupons, sales, and special deals. I am planning to use the same yellow butterfly pattern for each video, but I might make adjustments as we go along. You can buy new basic diamond painting accessories or use the ones you already have. When reviewing prices, I'm not going to include a basic diamond kit with a pen, wax, and a boat because so many of us have these already. I also won't include storage options. The accessories and storage options that a person uses can be such a personal choice and prices can vary widely. With all the freestyle methods, it's recommended to use a protective film over the project to protect it from dust, cat hair, and whatever else might get caught on the adhesive. The official instructions also recommend rolling over the whole project with a brayer or rolling pin at the end to make sure that the diamonds are firmly adhered. The yellow butterfly design that I'm using is from the Freestyle Projects page on the Diamond Dots website. I'm also using two pattern books, Diamond Art Flowers and Diamond Art Sparkle at home. Both books are by Leisure Arts and both books are between seven and $10 at various vendors. When I bought these two books at Joanne Fabrics, there were several books with the same titles and different covers. I'm certainly glad that I looked inside. Some of the books have the same patterns inside with different covers. And once you get going, you'll see that you can get patterns from many sources. Some patterns may be for diamond painting, some may be designed for cross stitch, or you may have designs that you create yourself. Diamond Dots has four different products for freestyle diamond painting. The first, is the fabric roll or grid with adhesive. This is a grid and adhesive on the fabric. The second is the dots fabric roll, which is plain without any adhesive. And this is just the canvas that we're used to working with, but no grid and no adhesive on it. The third product is the Dots Sandwich Adhesive. This is a sandwich of adhesive to stick on an object on one side and stick the diamonds to on the other side. This is a clear plastic product. The last product is called Dots Stick. This is just the adhesive that you can paint on an object and let it dry before sticking on the diamonds.
In general, the new steps for freestyle diamond painting are to find a pattern and decide how you want to finish your project, to decide how to transfer the pattern to your working surface, and then decide how to stick the beads to that surface. The rest of the steps are the same ones you've always done. Stick the beads to the sticky glue surface and enjoy your project. To purchase fabrics and glue, start on the Diamond Dots website or try searching your favorite sites for Dots Fabric Roll or something similar. To give you an example of pricing, this same 12 by 19 grid with adhesive fabric roll is $7 to $11 at various vendors. I have put links and more details on the prices in the show notes. The diamonds used in your new projects can be leftovers from other projects, or you can buy diamonds directly from Diamond Dots or your favorite other sources. You can also use diamonds from different companies. The patterns that I'm using for these videos expect the diamonds to be about nine gems to the inch. That should fill the grids and leave less of a gap between the diamonds on the finished project. Since most companies use similar size gridding, this should work for other brands of diamonds, but you may want to audition the diamonds before you get started and make sure that the diamonds work well together, especially if you're mixing gems from different companies. For diamonds, start on the Diamond Dot website or look for Diamond Dot's Freestyle or Diamond Painting Diamonds or Diamond Painting Gems on Google, Amazon, or your other favorite site. Diamond Dot's regular diamonds are $2 to $2.50 a package at various vendors, and there are many companies that sell round and square diamonds at different price points. I use a DMC to Diamond Dots conversion chart to help me with inventory. I downloaded the chart from the Diamond Dots website. To download this conversion chart, start at the bottom of the Diamond Dots Freestyle page. Click the DMC conversion chart for an online chart. From there, in the bottom right corner, click the Download DMC conversion chart. When the Save As window opens, select a folder and click Save. So now that you've seen the possibilities, would you be interested in using your own pattern and supplies rather than a pre-made kit? It's possible that freestyle projects might be more expensive than budget-friendly pre-made kits, and it could be more work. If cost is a factor, you might use leftover gems to keep the price down. But the important thing is, from a creative perspective, you are not limited to someone else's taste in art, and you are not limited to framed canvases on the wall or pillows on the couch. There's so much more that you can do on different surfaces with patterns that you picked out or you created yourself. Do you have a project in mind? What do you need to get started? In the next videos, I will do projects using the different Diamond Dots products. Let's see what we can make together. And if you do make a masterpiece that you created on your own instead of from a diamond painting kit, please leave a link in the comments to your YouTube, Facebook,